What's up, everybody? This is Glenn back with Big Jack with another best bets of the NFL weekend video. Uh, this is NFL week 13 coming off of week 12. That includes Thanksgiving. We had lots to be thankful for, but unfortunately, we we're not thankful for a winning week. Jack and myself had some pretty poor performances on the bright side. That was our first winning week as a, or first losing week as a show, excuse me, since week two of the of the season. So we had about 10 weeks where you're getting at going at least 500, if not uh, coming out ahead, uh, tailing our games. Uh, last week, if you were tailing us, we apologize. We will do better this week. We had a pretty poor for performance. I went one and two. Jack went 0-2-1. Oh, uh, my record moves to 19-13-4. and four. Uh, We're at about 59% on the season. Jack moves to 19-16-1, and one, right about 53% on the season. So still not, not terrible records overall, but uh, we're going to try to get back to our winning ways this week. Jack, how you feeling after last week? I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. What are your thoughts going into this week? Thanksgiving was about the only thing that was good about last week. Obviously, uh, picks were not great. Uh, I went 0-2-1, like you said. Uh, the two losers both coming early on Thanksgiving. Maybe I uh, sort of called my own shot when I jokingly said, well, if I lose these Thanksgiving picks, we'll just pick two more for Sunday. And then, <laughs> uh, of course, they went on to uh, go against me. Um, my Sunday pick was fine. I felt pretty good about that Bills game. Yeah. Obviously, if Gabe Davis just turns over the right shoulder instead of looking to the outside for whatever reason, um, you know, they win that game outright. Probably should have won it outright to begin with. Uh, great game, a tough loss against the number. Or I guess push, but um, yeah, bad week overall. Got to bounce back. Unfortunately, this is a, a tougher week for me. I don't know if you feel the same way. It's always a little more difficult to uh, find the right formula when you're coming off a uh, little bit of a lit down, but you know, you got to stick to uh stick to your principles. There's no, you know, perfect science. Can't go second guessing everything you do. You got to stay consistent because uh, that's the only way you're going to find success in this game. Um, so yeah, looking forward to hopefully coming back strong this week, getting it back on the right track, uh, throwing some winners out there in week 13. You know, if I were you Jack at last week, uh, and we'll just touch on your picks real quick. Cause I, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I wouldn't feel bad about that Bills bet. I think you were probably the right side there, uh, although although it did end up in a push. Um, but then also that Commanders game was weird, that Commanders-Cowboys game. Like, I felt good about that game for so long, and then all of a sudden there was like a probably like four-minute stretch of game time that it was just like it went from like a pretty good-looking bet to like so fucking dead so fast. It was crazy, but... Um, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, tough week for both of us. Uh, we're going to ba- bounce back that this week, and that's what matters. Um, with that being said, with your permission, I'll, I'd like to get into the picks. And uh, yeah. my first pick of the week, um, I was on Indy last week. Um, they came through for me. Um, they were at home. This week they, they hit the road. Uh, they're a one-point favorite at Tennessee. Tennessee's coming off a win over Carolina. So I don't feel like their back's against the walls. And honestly, I'm going to ride the Colts again. I'm going to go Colts minus one at Tennessee. Um, I just don't think the Titans are that great. I think they're in retool mode. Uh, I was on the Panthers last week. They they got beat by the Titans, but I believe it was a touchdown. Um, but the Panthers haven't been great this year. Uh, I think the Colts have a little bit more on the line. I think they're truly in the playoff race, even though it, I don't think we're going to kid anybody and say they're like, a Super Bowl contender, but they are like kind of in the playoff picture. I'm going to go Colts minus one at the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that's solid one. Uh, Titans are in a precarious situation right now where obviously they're not great. They're not really in the playoff picture. Um, and it seems like there's a little bit of rumblings that Vrabel might be moving on. I don't know really? if it'll be like, okay. a, I don't know if it'll be like a mutual parting of the ways but um yeah i don't know i feel like it's tough um in those situations where like you've had so much success in recent years and you know you've started to take a little bit of a step back 
Um, yeah, like you said, coming off a win against a bad Panthers team, but Colts are sort of rolling. Uh, I know Jonathan Taylor will be out. He's getting that thumb surgery, but before, you know, when Taylor was out at the start of the year, Zach Moss is running yeah. well. They're obviously a team that sort of relies on that. You know, Shane Steichen's done a great job coming from Philly, uh, where they did a lot with their legs over there, obviously. Um, and, you know, Minshew is like, he's doing enough to win and keep him in the hunt, uh, which is impressive. Kudos to him as a, you know, backup. But he uh, he just makes some, like, wildly bonehead type plays at times that you know that's the only thing that really worries me uh, about ever being on a colt side but they've been solid all year man i would I'd, I'd be curious to know what they are ats i feel like they probably got to be pretty solid um but yeah i i think that's a solid pick uh going into this week i'm not on it myself uh kind of similar to what i was saying about the coaching situation um with the titans You know, this one's, I think, even a lot more dire. I think Staley is for sure out in uh, Los Angeles with the Chargers. You know, they're a team. The Chargers are just a team that year in and year out seems to underperform. Um, And they're going on the road against the Patriots. And the Patriots are just abysmal. They're spiraling out of control. They're plus five at home. And it doesn't seem like enough. Um, And, you know, to be frank, last week, a lot of square picks came in for the public. And I think it flips this week. I think um, Chargers is kind of a square, like, yeah, they'll beat a bad team by at least, you know, a touchdown. And I think it goes the other way. Belichick uh, has done well in the past against Justin Herbert, uh, even when the Chargers were having better seasons. Bill Belichick's been able to dial up some looks that have given him problems in the past. Uh, I think they keep it tight. You know, I don't know if they have enough to get an outright win slash like they're sort of in that mode of probably having an eye toward the draft. Um, But I like them to cover the five points and be competitive at home. Uh, And I think they'll take that number, you know, hopefully pretty comfortably. It's ballsy. Patriots are bad right now, man. Patriots are bad. They're I was bad. on, I was on them last week, and they never really even had a chance against the Giants. But, um, yeah, okay. Patriots plus five at the or versus at home versus the LA Chargers. I like it. All right, uh, my second pick of the week. Uh, gonna stay with another horse. Uh, you know, I had the Colts with my first pick. Gonna ride the Denver Broncos plus three at the Houston Texans for my mm-hmm. second pick. Uh, C.J. Stroud's been phenomenal this year. Houston Texans has been, have been probably one of, if not the surprise of the league with how they performed. Um, I personally thought they were going all in maybe a little too soon with their, uh, their draft maneuvers, going C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson, but it seems to be paying off handsomely for them right now. Uh, that being said, uh, I think the Broncos are uh, – one of the most improved teams. Uh, I think it's a, a credit to Sean Payton, how they're performing. Uh, they've been good in crunch time situations. I think it's a tight game, and I think that Broncos with the three points, I'll take them. I think there's a chance they pulled the outright win. Broncos plus three at the Houston Texans. That's my second pick of the week. Hate to say it, man, but uh, I'm on the Texans. Okay. I'm on the other side of it, uh, unfortunately, going against you. Um I'm on the Texans minus three. It was going to be the last pick I was going to throw out, uh, but, you know, you obviously touched on it, so I might as well get right into it. Uh, The last pick in the sense that I don't, you know, feel super great about it, um, you know, which maybe bodes well for your side. I just think it's a Denver team that's been rolling. Uh, I think they're – they've won five in a row now, maybe six in a row. Um, You know, and it's – What's that? It's like six or seven or six in a row, something like that. It's yeah. Been but quite the either way, you know, they're, they've been, you know, Sean Payton's gotten them going, gotten them firing. Uh, he's turned that thing around. Credit to him. Um, you know, they've been impressive. I just, you know, at times that offense still looks a little clunky to me. Um, 
And I, I just don't see how they slow down a Houston offense that's no one's really slowed down for the most part. Um, and I just don't think they can keep up with them on the road in Houston. Uh, I think the Texans get out and sort of push, uh, push this game to a decent lead, uh, put the uh, Broncos in a situation that they're not able to dig out of. All right, we're going against each other. I think it's only the second time this season, if I'm correct. But um, It's fun. It's fun when we go against each other, so we'll see what ends up happening <laughs> there. So uh, my last pick of the week, um, I did this one time a few weeks ago. It ended up working out. Uh, I found another spot where I like a team total over. It's a big number. It is 30 and a half. Big fucking number. I'm going to take the the Dolphins over 30 and a half first at, at the Washington Commanders. Uh, the Commanders uh, have given up the most points in the league, I believe, at this point in the season. Um, I think it's stylistically, it's a really terrible matchup for them um, going up against the Dolphins. Not only uh, the Dolphins offense versus the, uh, versus the um, Commanders defense, uh, but I also think that the Dolphins' defense versus the Commanders' offense is a bad matchup for the Commanders as well. Uh, I wanted to go the just the spread at first, but then the more I think about it, I think there is a chance that Sam Howell is able to get some points uh, for the Commanders. I do kind of like him as a quarterback. Um, so I'm just going to go the team total, Miami over 30 and a half. I know it's a big number, but they score a lot of points. They can score them quickly. They can score them in bunches. Uh, I really hope Tyreek Hill's playing. He's questionable right now. Uh, but if he's playing, I love that 30 and a half number. They're going to get at least 31. I, uh, I really like that one a lot. Um, the, actually, the, the pick that I was uh, really contemplating before I kind of stumbled towards that uh, Texans one was uh, the Dolphins laying the nine and a half. Um, so yeah, I think that's, you know, I think they're going to score a lot of points, sort of take them to task. I, uh, I like that over angle a lot. Um, my thinking was more so kind of like, I was just on the Redskins and they, you know, sort of had that game where they were in it. And then all of a sudden you snap your fingers and it was totally flipped. Um, so yeah, that worries me a little bit, like, you know, Every time you're sort of on a team that's can't get it done, the second you go against them, you know, they just keep fucking you <laughs> any way you, you try to play them. So, uh, yeah, I am not on them, but I really like that over angle. I think that's a good one. The last one I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to do something that I haven't done all year as well. It was a thing I did a lot, uh, I feel like two years ago, that year I did had a really good year. First half, I'm gonna play first quarter. Fir- I'm gonna I'm gonna play a first half. Okay. And uh, you know, there's there's a very interesting game on the board in that Eagles Niners game. The Niners are three point favorites, um, and part of me just feels like Eagles at home plus three. Like I was saying uh, earlier, is like such a square kind of play like they're 10 and one at it's home. so square i yeah. was thinking that same thing vegas yeah, must think niners bizarre. are gonna kill them i know but like i i don't know i'm not all in on the niners for the whole game even though like that's my lean for the game but i do think that a lot of people look at that game and say oh well the eagles have been terrible in first halves so they're having all these kind of comebacks uh, you know they're having to do it down the stretch and like I said, I kind of could see the Niners covering that number because it seems so square. But I'm going to take the Eagles first half plus one and a half. Um, I don't know. I just think the Eagles come out and maybe it's like the opposite of what they've been doing. They come out strong, look good in the first half, and uh, maybe they slip up a little bit down the stretch. But I like the Eagles to come out, jump on them early, uh, you know, and you know, I like him, you know, maybe if you want to get a little juice, I think money line first half is like plus 125. But, yeah, I'll take the one and a half. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. First half, I don't know why it's like I'm really drawn to that play, but uh, I'm on it, baby. Love it. Love it. Um, I do agree with you, though, that I feel like Vegas knows something that we don't know, that, you know, you're making – 
Yeah. Philly, a three point dog at home when they're what nine and one or whatever they are. It's like, yeah. um, I mean, they haven't been, I've, I, you know, I've commented on <laughs> Detroit quite a bit these past couple of weeks. Call, I keep calling them a house of cards and, uh, I was on them last week and I knew that they are, they have their, uh, their issues right now, but the Eagles are certainly not that in right. my opinion, they're said definitely not to that scale. Um, but the Eagles have been getting it done in like, uh, they kind of remind me of like a better Vikings last year okay. where the Vikings were winning and they were 11 and 0 in one score games, this historic season. Um, but you knew like they just didn't have the juice. I think I give the Eagles a little more benefit of the Definitely. doubt because they were just, they were just there. Um, and you know, it's getting later in the season. You got to think it's, it's tough when you've sort of almost got to that mountaintop, you're sort of building for that playoff push again the next year. Um, and they've been awesome this year. They're still 10 and one. They're still getting it done every week, uh, except for a loss to the jets, oddly enough. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They had, they certainly haven't looked great doing it. Sure. So I guess from an odds makers perspective, I sort of get it. But like, I don't know. You can't forget the fact that the 49ers like got blitzed three straight weeks in the middle of the season. Um, I get they were dealing with some injuries and things like that. And they're a lot more healthy now. But I don't know. Just as a curious line to have a 10 and one uh, defending NFC champion at home catching three points yeah it, it's wild but uh i like the first half angle i think that's smart i think you're smart sticking with the plus one and a half versus money line juice is always nice but that one and a half point could be very nice as well they you know they're going to half tie that's a winner um with that being said a quick recap you just gotta pray they received the kickoff baby gotta pray <laughs> quick recap <laughs> if they were the bears you'd just know it. that's a lock they're getting the ball but um uh, we should quick, just start hammering bear first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick recap. Um, I am on the Colts minus one at the Titans, uh, Denver plus three at the Houston Texans and Miami over 30 and a half at the commanders. Don't love that. I got three road teams, but I love my picks this week. Um, Jack is on the new England Patriots plus five versus the chargers. Uh, the Houston Texans opposite of me. He's on the Texans minus three at home versus Denver. And then he's on that first half Philadelphia plus one and a half at home versus the 49ers. Um, we'll see how I, how I drop this parlay this week. There's a chance I just stay clear of the game that we're going against each other. Um, usually my, my uh, thought process would be include my pick and exclude your pick, but uh, I might steer clear of it this week. Um, I had half of mind after you said you're going against me to try to change my pick, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick to my guns. So uh, with that being said, let's get back to our winning ways this week, Jack. Um, let's see. What, let's see what. Let's see what ends up happening, man. Uh, any last words for the fans out there? No, I mean you. Uh, before we jumped on, you made a very similar comment of what you just said about how much you uh, really love your picks this week, yeah, and you feel like you had three winners. Uh, so it wasn't great to hear you say that you're on the Broncos. Uh, it's never fun when we go against each other, but uh, got to be true to, uh, you know, to our little process here. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh, hopefully it's a winning week and, you know, we keep it rolling. We only got a few left before the playoffs. So uh, got to get, got to get hot down the stretch and, uh, you know, hopefully fly into the green as we fade on out of here. Absolutely. Uh, and then uh, me and Jack are going to uh, workshop this a little bit, but we got some ideas for some guest uh, guest uh, pickers come playoff time. So we got some things in the works. We'll see what we come up with. Uh, let us know what you want in the, in the uh, comments down below. If you're new here, like, and subscribe. We'll be back with a, uh, a Bears video. There's no games this week, so it's just going to be a little bit of a recap of last week and just current thoughts on the Bears maybe in general. Um, but like and subscribe. Stay tuned and uh, get involved. Till next time, peace. Mm, bears. <laughs>